Hey guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It Now Monday project. Now this project in Design Space was intended to be a confetti holder. When I tried cutting out that file, I found in my case it wasn't cutting correctly or I wasn't able to figure it out. And I will share with you guys more about that when we go to the computer. So I thought, why not take that file and make it into something different? So we're going to be using that to make this really cute little card. This is like a matchbook style card. Hopefully you can see the side of that there. It's about four by four and a quarter. I did not change anything with the design. I just added a few elements differently. So on the front here, we're going to be adding the phrase that says, thanks a bunch. There's a little flap right here that the front of the card will kind of tuck into to resemble the matchbook. So you open that up like this. We're going to be adding the white piece here so you have a spot to write your greeting. Now you can leave it this way or you can also use it for a gift card um, or a little gift card holder. You can just kind of slide that in there. And again, you can just close that back up by adding the, putting the top of the card under that little flap. But when you do it that way, the gift card kind of falls right out by just giving a little shake. So if you do want to use it for a gift card, I'd probably add a glue dot to the back of that. That way it'll stay in place for you. But nonetheless, I think it's a really cute, different kind of card. All right, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. At the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left-hand corner, where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to go to the right and click on all categories, and then go down and click on parties and events. On this screen, you want to scroll down until you find the confetti party favor. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. And you want to give this page a moment or two to load. You can see we have all of our images here, but in the layer panel, all that is empty. That's letting you know it's not fully loaded yet. And you may have a shockwave error pop up. I'm using Google Chrome for my web browser. All right, there's my error. A, pl a plug-in shockwave is not responding. I normally just go ahead and click on the X to close that out and give it a few more seconds to finish loading up for you. All right, we can see our layer panel is now back. What I want to do now is click on the circle down here and move that out of my way. Take my left mouse button and drag it across all these pieces here. They're all the confetti. Go ahead and click on the X to remove those. Then we have the word hip hop and the word hooray. Now this part of the file cut fine. I had no issues with that. I had issues, I had issues with these two pieces here. One of them, the word hip hop, is supposed to layer on top of this black piece so you can read it behind it. I'm going to go to my bottom and click on the plus sign to make my screen larger so you guys can see what I'm referring to. This is where I had the issue. If you look at the word hip hop and the word hooray, they're not actually part of the circle. Can you see the H here, how it kind of comes off? and the H over here, and the Y here. When I cut out the word hooray, it basically, I had two pieces of a circle. I had this half and this half, because the word hooray goes all the way through it. It attaches to the cardstock, you know what I mean? So your shape will be on the cardstock, not the actual circle. And again, it could be something I was doing wrong, but I cannot figure it out. So rather than fussing with it, I changed it. I'm gonna go back to my bottom and click on that minus sign to make my screen normal. I'm gonna take my mouse across all these pieces and remove them. Now I do want to add an image here. On my left hand side toolbar, click on insert image. The image library will come up. In the search box, I'm typing in the word thanks and then the word bunch. So thanks bunch. Click on enter and it'll be the first one that pops up right there. It says thanks a bunch. Go ahead and click on that. Bottom right, click on insert image. And of course you can use any image you want. I just, this was there. All right, I'm going to have this piece selected. I'm going to go to my edit panel and change the size of it. The first thing I'm going to do under my edit panel on the right is click on the lock to unlock it. Change my height to be 2.5. It's 2.5. And my width, I want to change that to be 3.5. Click on enter. Now it'll fit nicely on the front of our card right there. I don't want all the layers though. So I'm going to have my design selected or the image. Right click on it, choose ungroup, then take some of the layers away. All right, so now we have the word bunch here and the word a bunch here. I'm going to remove both of those. It's going to leave me my shadow piece and the top piece. So I just have two layers there. Take my left mouse button across both of them. Go to my top toolbar, click on align and then center. So they're centered back up. 
right click on them and then group them together. And now we can see they're going to fit nicely on that. You can't see the backing because it is black, but if I change the color of this piece by having it selected, going to my layer panel, click on that piece there and make it be a green color or a purple color. When I bring that over, you can see the two layers there. I'm going to go ahead and click on go. Now I don't need all these to cut out on three different sheets of cardstock, so what I'm going to do is going to close that back out, go to my right hand side toolbar, click on sync, and I'm going to sync all the colors together. Just drag and drop. I'm going to take the black layer, drag it down to my purple layer, the red layer, and drag that down. Go ahead and click on go. Now they'll all be on the same mat, and then just kind of separate them here. I know this piece is my shadow. I'm going to bring that piece down here, and this is my top layer, and this is the, the card part. So just put a scrap piece of paper here that is at least 5 inches wide by 10, and a little scrap here and a scrap here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut these out, we'll go to the table and finish up this card. Hey guys, we are back. Everything went ahead and cut out. We're going to go ahead and fold on those score marks, give them a crease or a bone folder. So you want to fold one direction and then the opposite to create your little flap. Okay, so now we have the actual matchbook style. Now to jazz it up, I did go ahead and cut out some paper. I sized it to be three and three quarter by three and three quarter for the top, or for the front of that. And I did go ahead and ink all of my edges, but to save time, I'm not going to go ahead and do that on this one. So I'm going to put some glue behind that one and layer that on the front. And again, this is three and three quarter by three and three quarter. Now for the inside, for a place to write, that is just a plain piece of white cardstock, three and three quarter by four and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and layer that on the inside between them two score marks, getting it nice and even, left to right, like that. Okay. Now if you want to, you can add a little strip down here, which I did. This piece is three quarter by three and three quarter. Before you glue this one down, you do want to staple this closed. So go ahead and have that open, take a stapler, and I'm going to go pretty much close to the bottom and put three staples across. Okay, that way that piece there will create our flat for us when we go ahead and close that, like that. But you also want to hide the staples. So you want to do the stapling first, then take this little piece here, and again, three quarters of an inch by three and three quarter. I'm going to glue that one on. This way it'll hide our staples. Okay, like that. All right, now we're going to go in and add our lettering. And I, again, I just chose thanks a bunch. It was one of the ones I'd seen. I just typed in greetings and this one popped up. But you can make it say anniversary, just for you, birthday. You know, you really just customize it any way you want. And I mentioned before the Make It Now section of Design Space. I think they're mainly there for me to get ideas from. You know, then of course go in there and change them. There's no rule that says you have to keep it the way they have it, you know. I'm going to layer these two together. I'm going to go ahead and give them a little squish. Let that dry a moment. Now I'm going to share with you the part that did cut out. Remember I said the hip hip hooray was kind of weird? That's how it cuts out. So how are you supposed to use that? You know, like I said, the word, the letter H and the letter Y are connected to that piece of card sock. They're not actually attached to the circle. So when you cut them out, you're going to get that. And I couldn't figure out how to use it. So it might be a little error in the file. But again, you're able to customize them. All right, now take this greeting. And you want to glue this up pretty well. Um, I'd probably even maybe even use a score tape or a sticky tape, only because you're going to be opening up that card and bending it, and this you know kind of comes up a little bit. All right, go ahead and put that on the front, and I kind of went a little bit of an angle. I'm going to flip it over, and then give it a rub so I can really push on that without messing up the actual image itself. Okay, and that, my friend is our gift card holder. Again, you just kind of lift this up like that. Your gift card will kind of slide in there where the staples are. But as I mentioned before, if you're going to use it for a gift card, which I think is really cute, the staples are not going to hold them. It's going to fall right out. Um, go ahead and add like a little glue dot in the back. And if you want to, you can take the same measurement here, three and three quarter by three and three quarter, add a piece of white there, and you can you know jazz that up as well, or bring that same pattern on the inside. Lots of ways to really make it your own, but I think it's super cute and different, you know, for a different kind of card anyway. Right, so there's that one. 
and then this one here. All right, there you have it guys, today's Megan on Monday project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.